All right, uh, Starfleet Command, <laughs> thought to be a fictional organization, uh, is real. It has uh, major databases. Uh, apparently, Earth is in a planetary federation of 363 planets. I get this from people from an intelligence agency. Um, so 363 planets, we're a federation, yet our public is suppressed and kept out of the, that knowledge and the association with those planets. Many of them don't have humans. Many of them have other creatures. You may call them humanoid. What if you have, uh, what if you have lizards or uh, reptile humanoid figurines where they have two legs, two arms, but they're a reptile, like the predator. Um, that's an unfriendly one, or it's friendly now. At least that's what I'm told that they had a war with the predators, and they're in our galaxy, or our solar system. And the predators eventually got beat. Something tells me the acceleration suits from Mars portrayed in G.I. Joe rise of cobra were used to defeat the predators in that war or battle of which the predators decided they should be our friends um, something tells me the technology from mars is what ha made it happen and technology from neptune as well uh, any planet that's a million years ahead of earth as all of them are or most of them uh, we'll have the technology like that. Um, so basically, uh, the human uh, personal desire vantage point of getting NASA to disclose the technology is basically about us being able to do more with our lives and get more fulfillment out of our lives. And that is primary the reason why I want to get people to know about the technology and get the technology disclosed. Um, to say there's a mat maturity curve that has to happen that should be a slow curve, I don't agree with that at all. That's, that's bogus. As I know, reincarnation is a fact. Most of the souls on this planet taking the human form have been on other planets and have experienced all the stuff that's already out there. So if it kind of, you ever sit and wonder about that and you think life sometimes just seems kind of boring, it's probably because your soul knew more in another lifetime. But uh, the reasons for not disclosing are always going to be the primary reason, which is financial uh, change on the economy. If, if there's technology that stops an industry from existing that reaps profits to those that own the industry, that technology will never be disclosed. And that's currently what's going on, the oil industry. The people that own the oil industry don't want the technology that, that would end it, such as nuclear power or fusion, man-made star, they still deny it exists. But it exists, it was invented by Ronald Richter, a scientist of the Third Reich under Adolf Hitler. Invented the man-made star. It's flawless. It's eternal. It does not allow a profit cycle to exist. Therefore, it is suppressed. Same thing with nuclear power. You take away the using coal to, to empower an electronic grid. Um, there's a, a huge profit cycle and a huge job dependency on that profit cycle. So their excuse is, oh, if you allow this technology to come out, it's going to end jobs and there's going to be traumatic job loss. Yeah, bogus. It's already a traumatic unemployment rate, um, causing unemployment to do what's right for the planet is necessary. If, if people in the electric power industry, or um, the uh, energy industries that are defined by electrical and gas and oil, 
that our scientists have to take a job at McDonald's because the, their industry was ended because of technology that is good for the earth and didn't allow them to be employed by being part of a profit cycle that depended in, on the corrupt energy like fossil fuel. Um, if those scientists suffered a loss of a job from the switch to that bad use of that bad form of energy to good form of energy that doesn't hurt the planet, all the more they should lose their job. I'm all for it. Those guys can suffer. They can find a new job. They can find a new industry. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's just sad that uh, people, you know, that's that's the mentality that's out there. The tycoons that control the power industry, energy, energy industry, know the stuff exists. In fact, they use the energy that is good for the earth themselves because it doesn't cost anything once they. Uh, achieve the technical capability of using it. So once they purchase the, the means to use that energy, 